Yesterday, a new quest was added to old school RuneScape, the Path of Glofri. It was a very easy quest, took me maybe half an hour to complete. If you open the wiki, it's literally, it's very short. Like you scroll down, it's like, ah, oh, I'm about to do this because it's not gonna take too long. Now there is a new option as well to teleport to Poison Waste by using the Spirit Trees. This area may look familiar to you. If you played back then, this is where you kill warped tortoises. Yes, this is what on my ottoman I was collecting those tortoise shells in RuneScape 3 to make some the tortoise. You know, the familiar, where you, it's kind of like a pack egg, but not, not as good. Yeah, these guys, you would kill them, you would get the shells, and you would make those familiars. The shells would go for like extremely high. Now, I actually don't know if they drop them in this game because they would be quite useless. At least at this stage. Oh, wait, let me climb up. Maybe it's gonna be even more familiar area. Yeah, this thing. Look, this guy's killing. As I was doing the quest, there were a bunch of people in here. People have been cannoning in here. There's a new scepter that was added in the game, and I'm gonna try to get them. It's called Warped Scepter Uncharged. However, it's not that high in the Grand Exchange. This is the medium price of 132,000, but I tried to buy one, and they sell for like 250k. So, Pretty much is gonna be nothing special. But for Iron Man, this could be a game changer because you have Iban Blast and then you upgrade to Trident. That's how it usually goes. But now you have something in between as far as I know. It's not as good as Trident, but not as bad as Iban Blast. But somebody did calculations. I think it's from like level 81. It starts improving over the Iban Blast. I also believe if you wanna AFK them more properly, you need to take a Slayer Helmet or like earmuffs i think like one of these uh, reduces the damage a little bit and you can also combine it with a range prayer to i believe completely negate any damage that they deal but we're gonna test that out if that's the case then i will not need this blood amulet of fury and they seem to be not even attacking with range that guy's just afking because he cannot reach me i believe maybe i was getting hit by melee i think that's the case watch this i move a little bit these guys move as well so how, but these guys are ranging. So it's like melee plus range. So if you're low level, you may have actual trouble killing these guys. They are also in the collection log. Uh, if you rub the Slayer ring, it will tell you exactly how many you have killed. Yes, Runelight is also attacking everything. Got it. As I was AFK, the Warp Scepter is on the floor. I, I've heard the collection log completed such a long time ago and I missed it this time. The G average is 272,000. Slayer has 74 instead of 73, so I'm just gonna assume that, yep, it's at the very bottom. Warp Scepter obtained. Oh, another one. Oh, the Warp Scepter, pick it up. Go back to AFK. Yes. Uh, Third Warped Scepter. I also got a Dragon Spear just, just recently, like just now. And uh, this could maybe potentially be a place to get them, you know, kind of like Gorax are, I believe, for Dragon Spears and Shield left halves. But there's not enough sample. I only have 500k currently. The fourth Warped Scepter at 808 kill count. This could potentially be the last one. I'm gonna put the loot on the screen right now and as you can see the total value is almost 4 million from 1000 Warped Terabirds. You can see this is very Iron Man friendly as well. Those battle axes are worth almost 500k and those shields as well. So that's 1 million just from these two piles and probably another 500k by combining those both one hammers and Adam and play buddies. So it's like pure 1.6 ish million cash in Alks. So if you're an Iron Man and you want to make some extra money, on top of that, you get some raw sharks if you pick them up. There's some Addy ores, there's some even runes, what it seems. You can pick soul runes, law runes, death runes, just well, pretty much everything. Even feathers, there's 11,000. Although, who's going to be picking those up? They're very cheap. Even for Iron Man, they can buy a bunch of packs. But yes, four scepters in total. I also checked the drop rate. Wiki says it's one in 320. Yes, it's a very weird number compared to usually it's one in 256 or one in 512. But yeah, this one is one in 320. Uh, got a little bit lucky on the last one, I guess you could say. But this is pretty much what you would expect to get. Now, I wasn't finished here because I also wanted to check out what about the warped tortoises. Uh, the drop tables are slightly different. And I'm also going to put it on the screen right now, actually. I only killed 500 because they were a little bit slower. There's only two of them in one place. 
there's like another spawn which has like more of them but also there are birds at the same time so if i was killing those tortoises i would kill a bunch of birds but i already had like a thousand kc so i was killing two of them at the same time and to my surprise i didn't even know that but those tortoise shells and perfect shells they existed in this game like from 2006 I thought this were only when summoning was released, they added these tortoise shells. No, apparently you could have gotten them even before this update by killing those irregular tortoises in, I think, gnome stronghold or uh, near the maze as well with the uh, gnomes riding them. Yes, they were apparently available even back then. So the perfect shells that you get, you can trade them for 500 crafting experience. I believe it's the same place where you turn in long bones and curved bones. You trade the guy, get crafting experience, and said, I got 46 of them in total. And no, they are not tradable. I'm not sure about the other tortoise shells, because I guess, why would they not be? Oh, you can turn them in for GP as well. They go for 600 each, and I believe it's on the same guy as well in Dorgesh Khan. Other than that, there's a, I don't know, maybe if you have trouble getting an axe, that you can get an adamant axe from these guys. Though the drop rate seems to be one in... 50 but other than that look, look uh you see like there's scepters there's two scepters that i got there's eight kite shells that i got and then there is 52 tangled uh toad legs or whatever they're called these guys were so expensive so i think the price is gonna be plummeting since now uh i think they're also combo food so you could eat like uh, a shark and this or, or something like that there was some sort of way to combo eat with these things so making them a little bit cheaper Another thing you may notice is mud runes. Yes, I got 1.7k. They are 100 each approximately. And again, maybe this will drop the price finally. We got dust runes that are very cheap because of dust devils. We have lava runes. I think it's because of rune crafting. They're just dirt cheap. There's also like nine or seven GP each, but not these guys. These are very expensive. So maybe with the release of these guys, uh, warp tortoises and warp terror birds. Maybe if a lot of people kill them, they will drop down more and more and more. Now, I believe this is going to be changed, but if you search for warp scepter, there's two types. This is the one that you get from the mobs, and this is the one where you fully charge it. If you try to buy this one for, let's say, 1 million coins or whatever price you wish to do so, it will not allow you to do that because it says you cannot trade that item on the Grand Exchange, but it actually appears on the Grand Exchange. So I'm thinking about nope not what about any kind of shells well there's tortoise shells but there's no perfect shell so wait these are actually tradable Ten thousand each but buy limit is 7.5k as well when i'm actually curious can i buy like for one mil are they even tradable anyone can put them in yes they can and they're going for 5.8 thousand at the moment and there's no use for them you can just turn them in for 600 each to the the shop guy look this is the price of the tortoise shells on the wiki Apparently they were tradable before, I just literally never knew that they were. that was like the actual case. They were going for like 4.3k, they were going for like 555 all the way to like 11,000 and 12,000. And then it crashed since pretty much these guys were, I guess, announced or since they were released. And yeah, they basically these normal tortoise shells are literally only convertible to 600 GP each at the NPC. They do not grant any crafting experience. Those bones, those are exactly the sort of thing I will need. What? Are shells actual bones? Wait, I actually don't know what the shells are made. I don't, I mean, in real life. Give me the crafting XP. Thanks, now let me explain. 60,000. Okay, so it took the bones that I had in the bank. So they actually... I didn't even know that was the case. The giant shells, yes. Fine, what is that? It's a giant tortoise shell. I think I'm able to make something out of them. Okay, give me that. And 2.5k crafting experience so the way you charge it is you take some earth runes and take some chaos runes i mean yeah there's just no way nope not nothing interesting happens if you use chaos runes instead you can go all the way to 4,000 charges but i probably can i can i get them back i'm just gonna assume that you can get them back you add 4,000, and then you uncharge fully uncharge the scepter and it gives you everything back without any kind of penalty it seems that there's no coins also like when you charge the normal trident you would lose coins or Zelda scales eventually if you have like the, the swamp trident. But this one seems to be completely free. You can just put stuff in and I guess that's why it's not tradable in the Grand Exchange because it shows tradable, but it just, you couldn't tell how many charges that are inside the scepter. You know what I mean? Is it one? Is it 
10,000. First of all, we're gonna do a scuffed testing on the dummy. I don't have like too much gear on me, but this is a 28 with a trident of the seas. This is not upgraded one. So if you go for like a swamp trident instead of 28, it's gonna be 31. Sanguinesti will hit 32. And this scepter will only hit 24, which seems to be weird because doesn't Ivan Blast hit 25? So how come is this better DPS if it's not, especially 99 Magic 2? It's because it's quicker by one game tick. So while yes, Ivan Blast can hit uh, higher, this one is still a quicker weapon to use. It's just like all the other Tridents, you know? Look at how quick it is. It is definitely quicker, yep. Damn, what an animation though. Look at that. He's even looking away from the eye. He doesn't... Oh, look at... Uh, I can't... Now I'm just poking myself with the defender in the head. There's also a green pixel. Look, you cast it. See this thing that appears? Somebody noticed it. And now people saying you do not remove it. You need to pull it. All right, guys, that's all. I am uh, going to play some RuneScape 3 now. <clears throat> Bye.